Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to remap program change events to note on events so that you can use a foot pedal such as the iReg Blue Board that can only generate program change or continuous controller change events to control loop tree which will only listen for note on events. So I'm going to do a factory reset on this foot controller by turning it off, pressing and holding 1 and 6 and then turning it on. And when it comes back in its factory default state, it sends out program change 0, 1 and 2 for pedals 1, 2 and 3. So we're going to use MIDI flow to remap those to note on events 36, 37 and 38 to control loop tree. So let's add a new flow, select the input keyboard and select loop tree as the output. So if we turn the monitor on, you can see those program change events program 0, 1 and 2. And we're going to tap in the center to add a modifier and scroll down till we get to controller, add remapping in here and then we're going to remap the program change and if we scroll down a little bit more we're going to remap outgoing controller to note value. So that's program change to note value. And then all we have to do is set the ranges so we want to remap 0 through 2, 0, 1 and 2, so let's change 1, 2, 7 to 2 and we want to map that onto notes 36, 37 and 38 uh, which in MIDI flow they call C2 note 36 through to D2. So having done that we hit back and done and now when I press pedal 1 you see program change becomes a note on C2, note on C sharp 2 and note on D2. So if we go over to loop tree now I can see record, toggle and clear. And I'll just point out uh, in the settings of loop tree I've got perform action on touch up switched off and that's really important because I'm only sending out one event per pedal. I'm not sending out a touch down and touch up event. So that's one way of remapping it using MIDI flow. Now I'm going to show you another way of remapping it using MIDI bridge instead. So in MIDI bridge we've got the input on the scarlet and we connect that up to loop tree. So that would be sending the program change. But we can use this little beaker icon and the stream biter here and then we put in these rules and these rules convert C0 means program change on channel 1 and 00 means program change 0 on channel 1 and then the equals tells it to map that to 90 which is a note on on channel 1, 24 which is hexadecimal for note 36 and 7F which is hexadecimal for velocity 127. So you've got three rules that map each of those three pedals to record, toggle and clear. So there are two options for remapping program change events to note on events. You can also use MIDI flow and MIDI bridge to remap continuous controller CC events to note on as well but I'm not going to go through that in this little tutorial. Personally I find MIDI flow is easier for being able to configure things visually and MIDI bridge is easier if you want to be able to type your rules and, and use the MIDI hexadecimal and actually do byte remapping. In the future we want to expand MIDI control to other areas of loop tree 2 and introduce a MIDI learn feature to make it easier to map controls. So there you go, I hope you have fun playing with those and keep an eye out for our next tutorial. Thanks for watching.